Welcome back to the vlog, Print Fam. It's Thursday. Today, we're going to make some more of these stickers. Because I have a stack of them. But I'm pretty sure I sold them all. So, I'm going to go through the orders from last night. Get all the address labels printed. Make sure we have enough cards to send them out. And enough stickers to send out. And if we don't, we're going to print some more. And then we're going to try to sell some more. Then we're going to do white toner stuff. That is all. Check in. In like literally seconds to you. It'll be probably a bit for me, but it's just going to be like just a couple of seconds from now. All right. We've got the HP, HP latex printing. Some more of these stickers. I'm not going to show you another time lapse because I already showed you one yesterday. So we're going to get these printed, cut, and... I need about 45 more, I think. The one that I did yesterday has about 80 on it. So I'm gonna try to sell the rest of those today as well. Just a little extra money helps, especially when I pretty much have no jobs. So on with the printing. All right, so I got a rush order for some posters and I have two of them cutting right now on the cutter, but I cut them off. They were printing at the bottom and I set my pair of scissors right here and it slid off the printer and put a hole in one of the posters. So now I have to reprint a poster and it sucks because they're in a huge rush to get these. Uh, they have a new station coming over and it's a big ordeal with the coronavirus and the way that they're running their grocery store. So I'm trying to get these done as quick as I can and get them over to the store. But I'm happy for the work and they're paying a rush fee even though I have nothing else to do. All right guys, I have some business cards I need to print, but my printer thinks there's a paper jam in my staple finisher. It says that it's J7301. So I opened it up and it said to remove the staples in it, which I did. Let's see here. And still thinks there's a jam. So this is what I got, 731, I don't know, it has to be because of the earthquake yesterday. <laughs> but I open it up and it's got that light right there. So you come over here to the guide and I did the steps that it said. So, I guess we'll try it again. All right, when in doubt, restart. I restarted the printer and now the paper jam is gone. So, all I'm gonna do right now is make sure my tray three is aligned since I moved my sterling from tray five to tray three because tray five is for envelopes and all that fun stuff. So I've swapped where they are. Um, so I tried to just, see, problems. So I went to adjust it and now it says, open stapler front door, then rotate F8, rotate FS8 until the blinking in panel disappears. So let's go see, it says FS8. We're gonna open this. This one is FS8. Okay, well that was simple enough. Now it's saying there's a paper jam again. Son of a biscuit. <laughs> Ugh. All right, I kept pushing buttons. Now it says it's ready. The flashing light in here with the solid light. They're both gone. So it's making a lot of weird noise, but
Never heard that noise before. So, it says it's ready, so let's try it. There goes nothing. Paper comes out, I'll be happy. All right, that's what I needed. Guess let's try a test print and cut it on the Duplo. All right, print fam, we are off to the post office, dropping off two sets of business cards and more of those I survived March stickers. Once we do that, we are headed to Salt Lake to do an install for some vinyl. There's a guy that I know that opened a new store and um, he needs to verify his Google listing, but none of the addresses will deliver to him. It's an office space, but they don't have mailboxes. So because of that, they have to have something on their door or UPS, USPS, FedEx won't deliver to him. So we're doing something temporary he wants, long term he wants um, frosted vinyl, which I don't have in stock. And he's like, oh, I really need something today. I was like, I can do all white or I can print something. He's like, I'll print it. So going to install that. Then if my supplier's open, I know they emailed me yesterday saying that they were closed because they lost power from the um, earthquake. So if they're open today, we're going to go potentially get some magnet media as well as that frosted vinyl if the customer still wants to do it once we get that vinyl installed. So post office, then install. We are back from the errands. We ended up going to the science supply store. They did not have um, like French magnet stuff, so that was a little sad, but they did have the frosted vinyl that I needed. Holy cow, is that stuff expensive? Yeah, but I got two yards of it, 15 inches wide. That should be enough to do my project and give me room in case I mess up, because you know that's a possibility. So. Got the temporary sign installed for them so they could get their verification done. And uh, today's Thursday, so I got the garbages done. Uh, that was always, that's always fun. Just getting things cleaned up a little bit. Um, it was nice to have a couple of rush orders. Unfortunately, the grocery store prepaid me a couple thousand dollars. Well, not quite a couple, but 1,300 bucks. So no actual payments received because they received it about a month ago. Um, but that other rush order, for the chiropractor to get that door done and then doing the new vinyl to remove the vinyl I just put on uh, will be coming down the line here shortly as well. So good to have a couple of rush orders today. I was planning on doing the heat transfer, the white toner, but my day was busy just doing um, these little stickers that we made in case you can't tell. There's a toilet paper roll because people are buying up all the toilet paper. There's a little virus symbol. And then this is an earthquake symbol. This is where we had the earthquake. Uh, it's about 30 to 40 miles from where I am. And man, it was just crazy. Um, I'll see if I can find some footage to put in the folder cam. If you have any, you can add it just so people can kind of see what happened. Um, but yeah, exciting times here.
Bob got a bunch of things in the mail today, so he's gonna try to get those delivered tomorrow so we can get some checks, so he can get some commissions, and uh, yeah, tomorrow's Friday, so it's payday for Bob. I better find out if my wife needs some money for the mortgage. Again, I'm not taking it from the business. I set aside a little bit of savings, so I'll go take it from that if we do need it. Hopefully, hopefully we don't. Um, do have a couple other projects that I can do that are kind of in the queue. I need a folder for one of them because it's like a really funky Z fold leave behind thing that he wants to do. But with what's happening, I don't know if he still wants to do it or not. So we'll find out. But good times today. It was nice to stay busy. If you do have any questions about what to do, why do it, how to do it, etc., leave those questions down in the comments. Thank you, Cameron, for editing the videos. Um, if you guys want to support the channel, you can do so, especially if you're buying all that stuff on Amazon since you're not going anywhere. You can use us the Amazon affiliate links down in the description, or if you need business cards, stickers, etc., feel free to hit us up. Again, links in the description. But as always, we appreciate you just watching the video, watching the videos, and for following along. So make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in tomorrow's vlog, fan. I didn't meet my goal.